The decision for epilepsy surgery is individualized. It needs to uh, take into account and individualized to each of the patient's uh, pre-surgical evaluations. It is not the last resort. Um, you do not have to try all the different combinations first. Uh, for those children whose seizures start early, we can significantly impact their seizure outcome as well as neurodevelopment if uh, surgery is appropriate. I think uh, Mayo Clinic uh, Pediatric Epilepsy Center is unique because each of the staff can manage different epilepsy syndromes that happen in childhood. Um, we are knowledgeable in epilepsy surgery evaluation, uh, other non-pharmacologic evaluations. Many of our staff members are leaders in ongoing clinical trials. In terms of epilepsy surgery, we are one of the few centers in the country that provides 24-hour video EEG technology support, where you do not find that in, in uh, uh, every epilepsy center. We have the one of the longest coverage for offering uh, ICTO SPECT to be available um, in the country. In many centers, it's only available uh, within a very short period of time, either in the morning or afternoon. And with this uh, ICTO SPECT test, the uh, test is uh, done um, where we need to capture the patient having seizures so you can appreciate the challenge of trying to capture a seizure uh, or trying to perform a test only during uh, when the seizure is happening. So the Mayo Clinic offers a wide variety of diagnostic evaluations. We're not looking for just uh, those uh, children with, uh, who are candidates for epilepsy surgery. We take care of all etiologies, autoimmune genetics. We, uh, and specifically talking about epilepsy surgery, we have biomedical engineers here working with us to improve uh, the neurodiagnostic evaluation, the imaging evaluation, the EEG evaluation. We're continuing improving our uh, resources. We're now going to be incorporating 7T MRI. We're gonna be incorporating functional MRI with EEG, and these are all upcoming evaluations here available at the Mayo Clinic. Children get uh, grows, and uh, the the involvement from the adult epileptologist is an important part of transition care, and uh, I, I think that's also another aspect that makes up unique because we have pediatric epileptologists working along with adult epileptologists.